What's up guys, Goldfish here. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys another dual commentary today uh, with iJordan1811. Uh, how you doing, man? I'm doing fine, thanks. Uh, and thanks for having me here for a quick dual comp. That's alright, man. So uh, basically what I'm going to try to do, uh, as you guys know uh, from our first dual comp that I did with Brooksy Bear, uh, I'm basically going around and doing as many dual commentaries as I can over the next few days. And I'm going to be uploading them uh, like separately, so I'll have some content to upload to my channel all the way up until my exams are finished. But uh, I'm with Jordan here today. I'm just going to call you Jordan from now on because it's a bit easier than your username. Yeah, it's totally fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, so do you want to introduce yourself, like what kind of stuff you're doing and things like that? Yeah, sure. So on my channel, I try to provide um, a variety of videos. Um, I generally vol um, revolve around like Let's Plays of certain games. But I'm trying to um, come up with some new content as well, like I occasionally do commentaries. Um, so you may want to check them out. Yep. Um, so I can see like there's a, lo there's a lot of variety on your channel. Um, so I'm just flicking through the videos now. There's Left 4 Dead 2, Minecraft, uh, Metal Gear Solid, like even some of the less popular games that you're playing. So I find that uh, really cool that you're trying to uh, bring in as many viewers as you can. Um, is there like any particular um, games that you like in general, like FPS or real-time strategy or um, anything like that? When it comes to FPS, it'd probably be Call of Duty or Battlefield, because they're the two main FPS games I play. Because um, I grew up on console and I've only recently switched to PC. Um, but since I've started playing PC, I've been really getting into like Counter-Strike Source and Team Fortress 2, them kind of games. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool, man. Um, so, like Counter Strike Source, uh, personally, I've been playing it for like f years now. I I can't even recall how long. <laughs> Team Fortress, uh, I had it before it went free, but um, I didn't play it that much. So it's quite a fun uh, pub game. I don't play. I used to play Counter Strike Source competitive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you said, like uh, Counter Strike Team Fortress Two, quite fun. Um, have you heard about the new Counter Strike that's going to be coming out next year? Yeah, um, Global Offensive. I'm actually really looking forward to this um, more than expected. Actually, I was hoping it would have been cool to be able to play the beta, but I doubt I'd get an invite to that. Yeah, it's pre it's pretty hard to get into the beta. Um, apparently, they they were only handing out keys at Eurogamer and PAX. Uh, um, both of which I would not have access to since I'm from Australia, um, so that really sucks. But I uh, like it. I really like the way that they're gonna make this game. Um, are you familiar with like pickup games, five on five pickup games? Um, not really. Can you explain that? Okay. Yeah. So basically, it's just uh, more of like a competitive side of Counter Strike. It's basically like your five v five clan matches, except you play with four other randoms. Yeah. So. Um, what what Global Offensive is presenting us is with like um, basically just this uh, ability to play five v fives constantly, and it's I think it's going to introduce kind of a skill system, kind of like um, player skill rating. Have you heard of like player skill rating in Hon or like something like yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be really um, I think competitive based, but I'm not too sure about that. That that's like the concept that I think that they're presenting to us. And uh, I'm just really excited about that because I'm a competitive player myself. So I think it's really kind of presenting, um, I guess, the next the next level of competitive Counter Strike to the community. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea, to be honest. Yeah. Um, well, aside from Counter Strike, uh, there's obviously Call of Duty coming out yeah. and Battlefield coming out. What next week or two weeks um, time? Battlefield is due 28th of October. And yep. Modern Warfare 3 is the 11th of November. That's UK. I'm not sure about yeah. different places. Um, so it's so basically Battlefield's a week away. Um, yeah. So are you, have you pre-ordered the game or are you looking to get your hands onto um, it? Anyway? I'm really looking forward to it. I was hoping to pre-order it this weekend, but I don't think I'm going to have the money. Um, but I will be getting it, hopefully by release. But if not, I may have to wait the week after. Uh, yeah, man, that's absolutely fine. Um, so, what kind of what kind of game plays do you like with Battlefield? Are you more of a rush player or conquest or? Um, it it really depends because I I don't like I like the game, but I don't really like playing it by myself. So I like to you know go in with my friends, and so if I play by myself, I always play squad deathmatch. 
But yeah, if, yeah. But if I play with a friend, I always like to play rush. And I, I always like to be attacking and go straight into it and play aggressively. Yeah, I, f I find myself playing a lot of the time with squads as well. I don't find playing Battlefield by myself like very fun, especially because a lot of the time you end up with these people that don't know what they're really doing. Yes, and it's a very like heavily team-based game. Yeah, well. that's right. Yeah, like so, uh, especially like the people, the medics. Oh, uh, when I was playing Bad Company Two, these medics they just keep reviving you. Like you don't want to be revived, but they keep reviving you. Yeah. Especially when it's a really <laughs> bad spot. And when they keep reviving you right in front of somebody who's like shooting at them. And yeah, just that's what I mean. Away. Yeah. Um. Also, yeah, Call of Duty. Um. I think that's what December or November. Sorry. November. November. Yeah. Um, so Modern Warfare 3, what are your thoughts on it? There's been a lot of good and bad thoughts going around. Yeah, a lot. there's been a lot of hate on that because it, people are basically saying it's just like Modern Warfare 2, but no, I really liked Modern Warfare 2 and so I don't see why this is such a big deal. I, I reckon it's going to be good. And especially with Black Ops, because I thought, to me anyway, Black Ops was a bit of a letdown. I, I didn't think it was that good. And so I think this is going to be like um, another chance to like bring it back for me. Yeah, um, well, did you hear about, uh, also, there's this subscription thing that they got going on about oh, Call well, of Duty Elite? Yeah. Yes, I've heard of that. Um, um, I've, I've not really looked into it much, but I have heard of that. Yeah, so I think basically what it is, is like, I don't I don't actually know what the exact prices are, but um, from what I've heard, it's basically like um, for extra maps or something like that it's a subscription for extra maps yeah i'm not too sure like read, if it's uh, extra guns as well yeah i read an xbox magazine saying that um if you subs if you were subscribed to it you got like um the future dlc for free mm -hmm. and um I, there were some other things including as well i can't remember what they were but um free dlc was one of them um so yeah i guess it might pay off like in the long run but how, obviously, how many DLCs are they going to release? Maybe two or three. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's just, I don't know what they're trying to do, trying to milk more money out of the yeah. game or something. But, um, yeah, uh, did you have anything else you wanted to talk about? Any shout-outs or anything like that? Um, anything you want to say to people that might want to come and visit your channel? Yeah, um, if you like let's plays and like game plays and commentaries or just a variety of things really, then just you know come on and check my channel. You might be surprised with what you find. All right, um, so we might wrap it up just there. I got a lot, quite a lot to get through today. Uh, about <laughs> maybe fifteen more before I head off to work. So um, wow. yeah, thanks a lot for taking your time to uh, talk to me, Jordan. Yeah, it's it's midnight right about now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I kind of saw it on the Skype uh, the Skype time on your side. But yeah, man, uh, thanks a lot for taking your time out. And, yeah, that's um, fine. Thanks for having me. Yeah, together to the top, man. Yeah, together to the top. <laughs> All right, catch you later, man. Have a good one. All right, thanks, man.